Shalom, Rabbi Ron is in the house. Hey, listen, I just spent the, the afternoon at USF Tampa, had Bible study with five students, and a few of them stuck around. We talked some more. Very interesting question. It, and on the surface, it might sound just a little crazy, but uh, some of the conversation, but it really is a good question. And, uh, you know, here we have it. We're supposed to be good people. We're supposed to pursue world peace, right? Good thing to do, pursue peace. And so people stop attacking and bothering other people. Uh, but what do the scriptures talk about for the end times? What's going to happen in the end times? There's going to be some serious battles and wars taking place, nations invading nations, unfortunately Israel. And, and so what do we do? We're supposed to pursue peace and try to end war, but according to the scriptures, there's going to be a big, big, big war coming in the end. Can we stop that from happening, even though scripture says the big wars will take place? Probably not. It's going to happen. So what do we do? Do we pursue peace? Because in one sense, it's futile. It's not going to happen. The scriptures tell us the big end time wars are going to take place. So how hard do we pursue peace among the nations when we see that for those particular nations, they're going to battle in the end times? How do we work this out about being a good human being, pursuing peace, and yet at the same time understanding that Scripture says that one nation will fight against another nation? So what do we do? I'd love to hear from you. It's a crazy question, but it's a real one. It really is. And so we had a great time talking about it. Get in the comment section. Tell us what you think. Uh, there could be some good comments about this. Hey, we'll be back again real soon.